Hi right, guys, welcome back. So it's been 45 minutes since uh, the last episode. So this is uh, this is when I saved it last time, and this is when I did it. This is just my save right now. So that's how much time has passed. Uh, we've done some research. Uh, I'm starting on uh, laser turrets. I have finished laser. Uh, what else did I do? I wish there was like a way to see what you've done in order, but there it really isn't. Um, but I, I mean, I get it. I, I mean, I did all the stack inserter shit all the way up to this one. The next one requires blue science, which is a substantial change, which we cannot do. And I don't think production science really means anything here. No, it doesn't. So, so we've done this one, and we have now non-stack uh, uh, inserter capacity plus one. We'll see what that does. We're starting on laser turrets right now, which means we need to start on batteries. So changes. So first off, uh, welcome to uh, the copper mine version two uh, i made it right here not because i like it here uh, more because i didn't want to push down things down here and also that's out of ammo uh, this copper mine is starting to run out so we're gonna actually have to tap into the same one again i didn't realize like i said I, I didn't actually really realize that i would require so much copper i didn't think that would be the case here is our uh uh here's our coal uh, coal mines um there's a little bit of shit going on here uh but i mean i put some i put some radars up and things like that so i think it'll be okay for now uh so we're now tapping into this coal mine and not a moment too soon because this one is actually starting to run out uh in fact i think i actually need more coming from this one uh so we're actually going to make probably more down there uh but i don't think i have enough of these coal things though so uh, i guess we're not completely done with it uh i'd rather have an abundance of coal rather than not so you know that's how we're gonna work this out I guess I guess I do need a little bit more than that. Um, so I mean, right now we're just still manually making it, so it's just kind of the uh, reality of the situation. So uh, did our copper situation help? It did help, mind you. We look at this red chip line. We have like fucking tons of red chips now, so we we like it's no longer an issue for red chips. Uh, iron is starting to run out on one of the lines, so we'll probably repair that at some point. And also, this is. A problem now. Yeah. Well, so I'm probably standing at fire is not the most healthiest thing I've ever done. Okay, well that one ran out. Uh, yeah. The the butter intensity of the attacks is starting to go up a little bit. Uh, but luckily we're on our way to missile uh, laser turrets. So I mean, the problem is like as I said, we're still manually feeding everything, which you don't want to be doing. At any point. Oh yeah, we get to we get our first use of the uh, big electric poles for once, um, which is good. So that's what this is. That's what this is for. Uh, so these are very long uh, ways of bring bring around power. So that's uh, our first use of that. Uh, uh, clap for that or whatever the fuck you want to do. And uh, so now we're going to do this. So I I I, I got it going. So it's not like you're. It's not like we're doing this for very long. We're gonna need eventually more of this stuff, but uh, whoops. We're gonna need more coal from this line, but uh, I'm going to wait just a little bit before doing that. I still have these small electric poles, so I'm, I'm just using them. There you go. So that should completely saturate it. So we don't really have to worry about that. And then we can have like another line of coal we can have coming over here very soon. So this should now like completely it should just be as like a just a black uh constant flow of coal coming in so that's good uh we don't have to concern ourselves with that anymore so now we're on the batteries because we need batteries for laser turrets we need a substantial number of batteries for laser turrets so how many is that uh we need 12 batteries every 20 seconds so like i guess like maybe three three things making batteries i don't know maybe two um, so, and if we also have a look, our petroleum levels are about half, but the, the heavy oil and light oil are about full. So before we, uh, well, we're going to do the battery stuff and we're going to have to remember to add some more storage tanks because we have nothing to do with the, uh, we can do stuff with the light oil and heavy oil later, but like removing it or deleting it or anything like that is quite literally a waste. We don't want to be doing that. Um, so we have to be careful. Uh, I might make the batteries up here, actually. This is actually a pretty nice place for it. So batteries require uh, sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is water and petroleum gas. 
Uh, I'm not sure how many things use sulfuric acid. Usually I just make a dedicated line for the stuff, but uh, we'll see. We do have petroleum here, unfortunately. It's like right down here. So we don't have to worry about that. We just have to bring water over. That's your problem. Okay. Well, they're starting to become a problem here. Uh, just a, just one turret destroyed, so we'll just leave that be. So let's get an offshore pump going here. Uh, we still have an abundance of things for this. But also, yeah, as you can see, this line is having major issues with uh, with, with iron here. So honestly, the, the solution here is actually very simple. Um, we just do something like this. Uh, it's very it's very simple solution. It just it all goes into the same one. Um, actually, we we need a fast splitter for that. We need two fast splitters. Oops, I'm still making another one. We need two belts as well. So this is actually like the easy solution I can come up with for this to fix this right now. So look at that. So now, now it's fully saturated. It's just kind of borrowing off of the same line. So as long as I keep adding to this iron mine, then this the, this iron mine will be saturated like at all times. So it's not really an issue as long as I just do this, um, which means I'm gonna need some more iron coming from this now as well. So. Okay, it's never ending. So as you can see, iron is actually the first thing that we're going to have to tap into, and it's going to have to be like over here or something. But we're we're hoping that we're gonna we're gonna get to the wall before that. So, um, um, but yeah, that's my that's my solution for now for that. So batteries require chemical plants. And I, I actually, I already have an abundance of chemical plants, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, so, chemical plants. Um, so they require sulfuric acid. Uh, sulfuric acid requires water, so we bring water from the side over here. So it's very simple. And we'll just bring it over here. Hmm. So this is just a reality of what we have to do right now, which is just bring... Uh, yeah. We can kind of make it come to the same place, actually. There's actually no problem with this. I actually don't know why I did this over here, but whatever. All right, so batteries will come off here. So batteries require, I think they require copper plates and, I mean, obviously sulfur, but iron plates and copper plates. So once again, we can kind of just take that off of our same line here. Uh, very fortunately that we've set this up in such a way where it's very easy to take things off. Um, so we kind of just go, I would like it to kind of appear here. So this is going to be one of them. It's going to be copper, I guess. Or maybe it won't be, maybe it'll be the other one. Unfortunately, I'm uh, running out of materials. I probably should go repair the other stuff pretty soon. Yeah, this is, this is going to be the iron actually. Um, okay, one and then two. So we do one. And we have the second one right here. There you go. Ta-da, we got our materials right there. Uh, we can probably just take it down just a notch right there. All right. Uh, hopefully it just doesn't, yeah, that's gonna depower the entire factory when I do that, but that's okay. All right, we bring both materials here. We have our goodies right here. Uh, it's going to just make batteries. Uh, batteries are going to be offloaded onto, let's say, this belt right here. Uh, it's just going to come off like that. I, I don't, I haven't quite worked that part out, but I, I'm thinking sulfuric acid just kind of like comes in like this. So we have water and we have petroleum right down here, so we can kind of just bring the petroleum up. We're gonna need a storage tank for it as well. Uh, just one. Well, we're gonna need a bunch of storage tanks, but for now. By the way, this is very rough. We're gonna probably modify this a little bit later. What the fuck do you want now? Oh, uh, they kind of, one found a fucking blind spot. That guy's a champion right there. Is this guy for real? Just gonna hit the raider. 
Hey. Yeah, as you can see, they're really knocking up the intensity and also things are running out of ammo. Uh, but I'm trying to just get batteries going, which is uh, apparently not something I should maybe be doing right now, but whatever. I'm doing it anyways. Um, all right. All right, let's see here. Let's make sure the rest of the factory is powered. All right, we get some of this stuff going. I don't know, how fast does it make batteries? It's like one every five seconds. So yeah, like, like I said, it's like three is like a good number, I guess, I, I don't know. Um, now that these things actually support too, if we actually look, if we actually click on them, you can actually override the amount of stack that it puts in. But yeah, now you can have a uh, very basic uh, insert for actually a, a great deal of things, to be honest. All right, so the last thing is that we need is, um, if we actually bring this all the way down here, because we actually need this, so, uh, you know, maybe I should do this because I'm, I'm, I'm like rushing this right now and I'm not explaining it extremely well. So I'm going to actually take all the armor piercing rounds, 800 rounds, and I'm going to put it into some of these things. Because I'm like, I'm like trying to, I'm trying to rush it so I can explain it and then kind of go and reload all the stuff and do all the crap that I, that's like, uh, you know, related to living. But I, I actually, we should just do this real quick. I also took out some nests while I was uh, uh, pre uh, uh, predisposed, so uh, you know we did we we did some uh, kind of clerical work, I guess, in a way. As yeah, so you can see, that that red chip shit just worked out beautifully, absolutely beautifully. I love it. All right, so let's uh, fix these up real quick. Okay, I'm not even gonna bother having these. Like already as it is, it's like. These things do not work anymore for uh yellow ammo is just fucking worthless now to us. So it looks like they've they they found a way to bite at this, so we're just gonna do that real quick. Alright. Alright, whatever. We can just leave the rest of it be. Um So yeah, all that's fine. Um let's finish the rest of this. So sulfuric acid. So we can actually see sulfuric acid. It's made in um, a chemical plant, uh, and it requires five sulfur, one iron plate to make sulfuric acid. Okay. And sulfuric, uh, sulfur, so it need, the sulfuric acid requires sulfur, and sulfur requires water and petroleum gas. So that's why we brought water and petroleum gas over here. So we kind of, kind of, so this one's kind of funky how this one works. So we kind of do something along the lines of, um, we have three chemical plants. So this one makes sulfur right there. So sulfur is made actually pretty quickly. It's uh, two sulfur every one second, and every 50 sulfur requires one second of two sulfur. Uh, how much are we gonna make? Yeah, so we, we need to have two machines making, uh, I think sulfur, yeah, two machines making sulfur. And then, yeah, okay, that's how I do it usually. Two machines making sulfur, and then you're, uh, can I just like do something like this? Yeah, there we go. Kind of have to do something like this, it's weird. That's sulfur. Here's your water. But you can tell like now like the, the two holes are kind of different now. Um, so we have to keep that in mind now. Okay, right, so that's 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 gonna produce as much sulfur as we need. What are you whining about now? I was just there. Well, we need more turrets there, I think, honestly. I, I kind of said five, but yeah. So this is now making as much sulfur as we need, and this will now make the sulfuric acid. This requires an iron plate, and whoop de do, we actually have iron plates right there. Kind of just uh, plugging into that. And we also need to bring it water somehow. Um, I mean, we have water here, but, you know, it's, uh... Luckily, nothing comes out of here, so it's okay that's, like, plugged in there. It's, no one cares. It's fine. All right, so it's got water. Um, it needs now uh, sulfur. Okay, maybe I should do something else like this, actually. Because it needs to actually take in the um, materials from this area, from the from the sulfur. So we do something like that, maybe. So now it's going to give it here, uh, it needs to get its iron plates, so we, we don't need the super ones for that, because it just needs one iron plate. 
And there you go. It's making sulfuric acid. Nice. All right. So now that's that, that, that now that that's done, we uh, kind of just put it into. Uh, I actually don't like the fact that I, I ran into the science here like this, but hey, you know what? It's fine. I, I'm I'm actually just really I'm determined just to get the lasers up. So this is kind of the problem right now is that we really need the lasers. So I'm actually not really caring too much about the uh, the feng shui of this layout. There you go. Sulfur for these guys. So now these are going to take it. They're going to make batteries and put it onto this belt. So now we don't really care about anything that this belt has anymore. Uh, the batteries are just going to kind of come onto the, a belt over here. And it's going to come on, on only one side. Um, and you're going to ask why. And it's actually for a very good reason. It's because we're going to put... Batteries are actually not a huge component of anything we do in this game. Um... I mean, they're used for a bit of science, they're used for a bit of robots and some other shit. They're actually not that valuable for anything else. They're used in accumulators. We are not building accumulators in this run. Um, that, because accumulators store power and they're used more for things like uh, solar power because you want to run things at night. Uh, in our specific case, we don't need to run anything at night. Uh, everything is fine the way it is. Um... Like, it... Because if, if we run things at night, we're simply... We just don't have the... Like, we need a great deal of solar panels, and as you've heard me say before, this is not a solar run. We're not doing any solar power here. You're not going to see any solar really here. I, I might make it just because I want to uh, scan some stuff uh, out, out in the middle of nowhere, but um, realistically, it's just not necessary. So we've upgraded this one a little bit because I don't want to come back here anymore. Would have been good to actually have two flamethrowers. And see, it's the biter intensities are the biter intensity is increasing because uh, they're just more and more now, but that's okay. So turrets, let's get this ready. So we need twenty steel plates, twenty electronic circuits, and twelve batteries. So it's green chips. Uh, I know we made red chips, but that's for that's for a little bit later. Um, so steel, steel batteries and chips. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually just send this over here, and we're gonna make uh, the stuff over there. I don't think this is needed anymore. We're actually done with this one here. We don't need this guy. Also, this guy's done too. So we're good. There's some reason why... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. I'm not sure why... Actually, it's fine. Okay, it doesn't seem like the, the copper is moving particularly fast. Oh, because near the end it just doesn't get put onto the belt. I mean, either I can do this or something else. Yeah, there you go. I, oh, it's actually not moving. Ooh. Okay, that's a good sign. Okay, so we we actually yeah we're we're in good shape. Like we're not actually using utilizing all of the uh, the copper now that I tapped into. So that's that's good news. I mean, we'll need it eventually, but yeah. So we can actually just completely plug out of that guy. All right, so we need steel, we need green chips, and then uh, uh, we need batteries. That's kind of the order of which things are going right now. So batteries are fortunately right over here. Uh, then the green chips are right here. I'll just take a bunch of these as well. Do I need some iron plates? Of course I need some iron plates. All right, so I don't know quite how I'm going to tap into any of this stuff. So. And this is going to just make turrets. Uh, we're going to just be making turrets until whenever time that I don't need turrets anymore. Uh, this is actually something that's going to be, like, need to constantly be going. Because of the way this game works. Because uh, turrets, we're, we, just, we need so many of them. And I'm almost considering to actually have a second uh, facility making them. I'm considering it heavily right now. That's that's how much we need. It's it's actually fucking ridiculous. Uh, so we'll do something like, whoops, uh, let's do something like this. Like you, do, we just need so much of this crap that it's like, yeah. Well, anyways, it's plugging in there.
maybe maybe we'll have two. One, two, three. Okay, we're gonna make we're gonna make two have making these things. Which means we're probably gonna need more batteries then. But we're gonna do something like this for now. So I know the batteries are kind of in a weird spot, but that's okay. Because we'll clean this all up some other time. Uh Thing is, I, I think that honestly, like steel is going to be such a huge issue with this layout. Like, I think that's what the real problem is going to be. Like, steel is just bad. That's okay. All right, so let's take uh, as much as we can off these lines. How much more do we need? Uh, Twenty circuits and then twelve batteries. All right, so batteries can just come off of this kind of a deal, and then uh, it puts it into a nice iron box somewhere and. And this is how we make our uh, laser turrets. Laser turrets are very good. And then there's going to be a very important thing we're going to have to do right after this. And that is uh, we're going to have to up our power. Uh, and we're, no half measures. Like literally double the coal. Uh, we're going to have to fill this lineup completely of turrets. It's going to be dumb. So there's something limiting the, the creation of production science. I wonder what that is. Uh, it's apparently gears. Gears aren't making it all the way to the end. That's okay. We'll uh, we'll help it along. So, gears has become an issue again. Uh, it's just I, I think I think it's just one of them is not getting enough uh, iron now. I guess we can go upgrade that while we're at it. If that was your problem. Fucking piece of shit. I mean. Uh, a glorious individual. All right, so they're going up there now. That's good. So as you can see, it's kind of filling up the sulfuric acid. Oh yeah, I said I was going to do something with the oil. So let's do something with the oil real quick. Uh, mostly in the fact of we need more of it. More, we need we need more storage containers because when I go over there, you're going to be like, oh shit. Uh, iron plates are a necessity here. So I don't think we actually did need the second line of uh, uh, copper. That may have been a that may have been a mistake, but it's not a very critical mistake. Actually, we don't need this many. So, um, also our stone is starting to run out, but we have a box full of walls, and this is actually going to be enough for us to build walls around our base. But that's st still something that's going to come a little bit later. It's still something we don't have to deal with right now. Uh, also, some ammo is required over here. So we actually we don't want to be filling these things up anymore because it's like it's a huge pain in the ass. Laser charts kind of are just better overall, but it's like a question of how do you get it. So I can see, as you can see, light oil and heavy oil are completely full. Petroleum gas is now done. Like we don't have any more. So what we do is we do this so it has more places to put these two. So these things keep going and then we can continue to make our batteries and things like that. So it actually did run out of petroleum and then that means that nothing else is being created nothing else is being made here but if we do that we basically prolong it and um this is not a long-term solution the long-term solution is to make blue science which then leads into oil cracking uh oil cracking is you convert different types of oil to different types of uh um things that you might need so that's kind of what we need to kind of think about now so we're starting to head into that, but we can finish up this, uh, we can, f we can, uh, we can continue on this route of the, uh, whatever these things are. We can, we can, we can tap into more of the iron now, but unfortunately this is the last of the iron. Any other iron we get, we have to tap into it from elsewhere, uh, which is not what we like to do. Because that, that, is, that is extremely bad to have to tap into iron somewhere else. So we will, we will need that very soon, unfortunately. But yeah, so we'll do something like this. Alright. Unfortunately, it shouldn't actually go into here. I have to figure this out real quick. So, I mean, we don't have much left in most of these areas here, uh, but the problem still remains is that we need kind of two iron lines going at all times somewhere here. So, 
Um, I, I'm not sure how to do this. Maybe it's like this. And then this guy can kind of come down into the same one. So we just need as much going as possible for this garbage. Uh, okay, maybe, maybe I, maybe there, that didn't make much sense actually what I did there. Actually, no, it did make, it made total sense. So I'm trying to go up here and tap into this one. Okay, apparently that power was not required for anything. And like I said, we're going to have to just, uh, utilize as much of this as we possibly can. All right. This is just the nature of the beast. We just need this much power. Uh, we need this much iron. Like, right, I'm gonna also tap into it slightly on this side. Fuck. Seriously? So, this is a little bit strange. Oh yeah, I remember why I was doing this. This, when you, when you lay out your, your iron like this, it means you are eating it through it faster, technically, because you're just mining it out quicker, you know? Uh, this can be an advantage and a disadvantage at the same time. Um, in the case of maybe you don't want to place miners as much, but maybe you only want to place them once. I don't know. I, I, I honestly, I, I can't really tell you what the best solution for all this garbage is. Because it's just, uh, it's, it confuses the living shit out of me. This, this last patch here is not going to get eaten at all. So we should actually do something like this. Except I think there's like a now a gap here somewhere. Yeah, like right here. Nothing's eating that one. So this one's gonna have to move up slightly. There you go. Something like that. Does that work? Yep, that works perfectly fine. So now everything's getting tapped into here. I don't think there's much more I can do here. Like that's that's it for iron for this these guys. But that means it's gonna deplete slowly, which means we have to go for this guy, so but luckily luckily for us, um so our our laser turrets currently, sorry, our, our current turrets use iron, a lot of iron, basically. Um, laser turrets will not use that. Uh, they will be perfectly fine. So I don't think I need anything else. We can start working on railways. So by going laser turrets this early on, we're actually removing some of our iron usage because we're not using it uh, for that purpose anymore. So that's actually an extremely good thing that we're doing this right now, believe it or not. So we get laser turrets. Because a a the ammunition for piercing ammo requires so much red, red uh, uh, requires so much steel and like iron and, and all that kind of garbage. But yeah, so now you can see our laser turrets are currently going. Um, and so they will go. And so now this is the time of which we uh, start making a crap ton of boilers uh, and other garbage. So this is where the fun begins. And this is also where ammunition runs out. There you go. I haven't been paying attention to all these, but it's because I'm really busy with all this other stuff. So we need a lot of steam engines. Um, in fact, a disgusting amount of steam engines is required right now. Uh, believe me, I am not pleased about any of this. Alright. Did we run out of pipes? No, we didn't. So, it's very debatable how to up upgrade a lot of this stuff, but we just need now, like, basically two lines of, of steel. And I'll, I'll show you why when we get our first turrets up. So, turrets require 2.4 megawatts uh, to fire. Uh, Idle, they don't require that much. Uh, we have 32 steam engines right now, so we're going to put like eight more onto the line, and then that line is done. Um, we can't, we ha we'd have to make a second line, uh, which we're going to do, obviously. So we have to make sure that um, the, pa the factory can be powered and also our turrets can be powered, right? Okay, so we're just going to do this. So 32, we just need to kind of make, I think, this many more. I don't really know. So we have to just make sure that there's always coal available for the steam engines to be powered at all times, kind of a deal. Uh, did I actually run out? I almost ran out. I, I, I'm still using the f f small pole poles. I don't, I, don't, I don't really care. All right. 
we do something like this. So we need to have an abundance of power available to run the laser turrets as it is. So, but they are very good at doing this stuff. So if we actually look now, uh, we're at 44 steam engines, which means we're actually at full capacity. I'm not sure how that happened, but the water would not be able to run that anymore. Oh, fucking hell. Out of ammo there. Let's go get some more ammunition. Because I actually have none on me. The laser turrets aren't quite up yet. Or maybe they are, actually. I don't know how many there are there. Um, I mean, actually, we don't have the power to sustain them anyways. Because... Wait, 38? Oh, that's because these two aren't hooked up. That's why. Remember, four, uh, 40 steam engines, 20 boilers... Uh, is how is the ratios of how this all works. So that's why you saw me disconnect those ones because now we need to, now we need an entirely new line of steam engines with their, with with its own like water source. Like that's 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 the that's the world we live in right now. So I'm going to get the car actually because uh, the car is going to help out here. So we're we're essentially removing. So instead of using essentially iron as ammunition, we're instead using. Um, uh, okay, you know what? That's enough, actually. So, how much power do we need, do we have right now? Fucking, that's enough. Okay. I, I actually, I, I don't care. Uh, we're gonna just do this right now. I'm tired of putting in ammunition for all this stuff constantly. All right. So, apparently, they were hitting my car a little bit, assholes. So, because that place is now under fire a lot, this is gonna be a process of upgrading everything here. Uh, slowly over time. So. They've seen some shit over here. So we're gonna destroy all these and we're gonna make laser turrets now. Now, I'm not sure if the current boilers are enough for this, but they're probably not. Now these require electricity now. So if you actually look at this, there's actually, uh, they're actually, they're idle right now. They're not on the network. Uh, well, they're they're idle, but they don't use that much power right now. So the first time they come over, you'll see. But let's uh, let's continue making um, boilers, actually. And I don't know where I'm gonna make another line of boilers, to be honest. Probably like over here or something. No, that's where my oil is. So I don't want to do that. Fucking shit. Yeah, this is like a this is a space issue now. Um, probably like right here or something. We'll have to like move some stuff up here. Okay, so they're coming over there. Oh, these are. Um, these are big spitters, so we have those now. That's fun. All right, we just got trains. We're going to go into now automated rails, uh, which is an important thing. All right, so it looks like they actually come down here. What the hell is under attack? Yeah, it's under attack. All right, you guys see lasers. Oh, no, yeah, lasers are going on. But if you actually look at this, look at the spikes. You see how the, the factory loses power for a second for satisfaction. That's how they work. Uh, they're very good. Uh, but we definitely can't hook up anymore until we get another, another line of, uh, uh, we need another line of steam engines. Like, there's actually no other way of doing this. Uh, so, it's just, that's just how things work. Uh, so how many do we have right now? Okay, we're gonna need more. So, it's an iron investment right now just to get the steam engines going, but in the long run we save actually a lot of power. So, like, right now, we can actually barely sustain what we have, like, the, the amount that we have right now going for uh, turrets. But they're not actually firing at full, uh, they're not op optimally firing or anything like that. And then we gotta kill these things. Because they're really annoying and close to my base there. But uh, but we have, like, eight more turrets, so we're, we're making more and more on the way. Um, that's also something important to, to note. Let's see here, one, two, three... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, how many pipes do we need? All right, we can probably use some more pipes. Because actually, you know what, just take them all. Because we kind of need all of them. Okay, so we need we need 40 steam engines. So I currently have two stacks of them. Uh, we need iron gears up the ass. Like I said, you're going to find that this is just the way things work. Uh, we can also give... This are current steel supplies. As I said, it's not a fun investment to make, but it is one that we have to make. 
Maybe we'll maybe we'll just go make it simple and just kind of uh Maybe we'll uh just do not that many steam engines. Maybe just half a line somewhere. I don't know if they attack here anymore. Uh, I'm gonna assume that they probably do, but you know what? Fuck it. I don't. I don't think I've seen them attack here in quite quite some time. What's the turret coverage looking like? You know what? I think these these hit it anyways. So let's look. If I if I disconnect this all, I mean, there's still some coverage there. It's just gonna be a blind spot, which may not be the best idea in the world. All right. Actually, why is there... Oh, this is the petroleum. Oh, I see. I was going to ask him, like, why did I put oil, pipe of oil through there? Uh, the answer was I was being dumb. Actually, you know what? We can do this. Because so, it won't... And it won't actually connect. So we're fine. All right. So that's how that works. And now we'll get some steam engines going here. So we need to make sure they don't hook up to... The, I don't think it matters if they hook up to anything. All right. Yeah, it sucks ass, trust me. Actually, wait, I don't know why I put so many together like this. I'm crazy. So this also needs its own water support. Uh, it needs its own water supply and everything because of the way I did this. I, I need a bit more space here. So it needs its own water supply, it needs a bunch of shit. Uh, so that's just kind of how this is going to work. So I, I can't just plug it in there. What's it complaining about? What got destroyed? Oh, one of my pipes got destroyed. And guess what? Those pipes are pretty damn important. They're uh, they're fueling for the, uh, for the turrets here, so I can't actually just leave that. So we're actually going far enough now that that's also a problem. So we have to keep that in mind. All right, so water will just come up from the same area, I guess. Actually, we can we can actually make it kind of simple. It just occurred to me. So as long as we do one line, so this is two, four, six, eight, ten, and we ha we should have enough for this now. Oops. This is kind of what's needed. Uh, it's insane, but yeah. Uh, to run laser turrets, um, the thing is you're not running them all, all the time, but you are running them most of the time. So, you know, uh, especially in death world, you know, they're gonna be attacking. So we're gonna do something like this. So all we have to do is bring water to here somehow. So we, you know what, fuck it. We're gonna bring it down through something. I haven't decided where yet. Okay, you know what we can even do? We can even use one of these poles. We can kind of bring it through here. Cause that pole is slightly better. Like I said, we can't use, we can't tap into this water. Cause it's actually, it's actually at capacity cause of the way the ratios work. All right, so where's this guy gonna be? Maybe somewhere like here. Uh, something like this. There you go. Automated rail completed, and then we have signals. Uh, so we're just getting all the, the tech out of the way for that. What's your problem here? Yeah, you're starting to run out of issues. You're having issues too. So that's it for that. We're going to start. I don't want to really fill these things with ammo anymore, so that's why I'm trying to finish this up real quick. Because we're now at the point at which... Laser turrets would be kind of nice. Uh, how are these not powered? Oh, because it's uh, not actually hooked up into our grid. But now it's hooked into the grid. Also, we're out of belts, but I think I made it. Oh, shit. All right, so that's a problem. Uh, yeah. Fucking assholes. Alright, so we're gonna have to do something like over here for... I like how the one guy just basically like finds like the one hole. Fucking pile of dicks that's there. Alright, 
I am also missing pipes as well. So we kind of need pipes to make something over here as well. I kind of I kind of need space to make another line of uh, of furnaces the of things though. So we're gonna have to maybe not work it over there. We're gonna have to work it a little bit further up or something. I don't know. We're basically kind of done with a lot of this stuff anyways. But laser turrets is actually the major upgrade for us. Um, where's our pipes? Okay, there's our underground pipes. Do we need regular pipes? No, we don't. We need inserters? No, but we need do need belts. Yeah, these are like using iron gears like no tomorrow. I, d I took already a stack of 50 of those. I think I was here for something else. What was I here for? I don't remember. I do not recall. Actually, I, I think I'm going to look up here because, yeah, stuff is here. Hey, look, gears are still a problem. It's just like, this is how difficult they become. So two flamethrower turrets in every place would also be kind of nice. Um, but, you know, you know how that goes. Sometimes it doesn't go. So we got 21 turrets right now. I'm going to limit it to like this much. So it's still going along, uh, but we do need more steam engines. Like a lot more steam engines. How many walls do we have? We have a lot. All right. It's a bit longer because I just want to wrap up this thing, but I guess you kind of get the general idea of how this is going to go. And I'm going to make another turret. I'm going to basically push everything down kind of here. So uh, something along the lines of something along the lines of this. Whoops. It's going to start taking crude oil over here. Probably like right down here somewhere because I need to be able to make two more lines of this stuff. Uh, it sucks, but we have to because laser turrets are hungry mistress. And to make this new little outpost thing here, we're going to actually use the laser turrets right away because we actually now have enough power capacity. Actually utilize it. So that's kind of good. So a little bit down, maybe like one more step down or something. Yeah. Oops. All right. So this is where some flamethrower turrets are going to go. Uh, I haven't quite decided the logistics of this, but maybe it'll be something like that. Now we, to need, we just need to bring some power down and then uh, we're pretty good. This is why we have the big poles, because, yeah, they're really good at this. And then we get laser turrets. Uh, probably like one more like this. So these already have their crude oil in there, so that's good. That's probably why the, the new poles are better. They have actually more range, these new poles, so that's why we kind of like them. There you go. Hopefully this will capture anything that decides to go this way, but yeah. Um, we're also having issues here. But yeah, this is going to be kind of the amount of turrets that we need for this kind of garbage. But you can see, like, we do have actually a very good amount of power production now. Um, but I have to decide how I'm going to do this. Probably like another turret base over there or something. I don't know. So essentially now what needs to happen is every single place needs to actually be hooked up with laser turrets because the t laser turrets are just substantially better than the other turrets anyway. So there's actually no reason not to upgrade everything here. So probably something similar to what I was making before. Uh, I don't think we need to double wall anything at all, but you know, uh, let's see here. There you go. One one power pole does all of this right here. Oh, jeez. It's 
So one power pole does that. Laser turrets. See, and most of the problem with these laser turrets is when they run out of ammo. That's when that's when the problems arise. But they're very capable of taking out anything that comes near them. Very good at that. All right, we're gonna make a large power pole coming over here. There you go. And the hope is that they don't like come at us with like ridiculous numbers, but you know how that goes. So you can see this one's taking a bit of damage already. Um, but like they're still very good at that. We could also start upgrading their uh, their damage numbers. But luckily, like I said, because of the way of how we've done this. We're gonna need, I, I can guarantee you, we need another flamethrower th 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 here. Or there's a base up there, I don't know, but uh, I'm gonna have a second one here anyways. Anyways, okay, I think I'm done showing you guys this. This is, um, this is a lot of upgrading that I have to do. Cause uh, this could not have come at a better time, trust me. So we're gonna have like two flamethrower turrets here and some other shit like this. And then we're gonna plug right in. How many more laser turrets do we have? I don't even know where I put them. Oh, there they are. 14. Okay, that's pretty good. So now we've completely removed our dependence upon that ammo, and so when you come back, uh, I will have them all upgraded. Every single side, and then we're going to probably just wrap up... Uh, we're probably going to just wrap up some of the other things that we were doing before, but yeah. We're going we're gonna to probably wrap up some of the... Uh, Oh, jeez. Okay, they just made that base. So I'm going to clear out some nests around here, first off. And second off, we're going to just upgrade everything. So uh, what, what what upgrade am I going to do? Let's see here. Solar, maybe. Uh, fluid wagon, we don't need. Uh, modules are good. Accumulators, we will never need. We won't be needing them for this for this run. Circuit network is good. Landfills, we definitely don't need. This is to basically... Um, uh, to add a path to water, but as you can see, there's like no water on this map, so um, I guess we'll just do electric engines, so uh, that's what we'll do for now. Um, so thanks a lot for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time, and I'm completely full on shit right now. Alright, bye guys.